You're listening to the PlantX Podcast, the digital face of the plant-based community. Join us as we explore the inner workings of all things plant-based, from the products and lifestyles to the people behind them. Each week, we'll be touching on what's new in the ever-expanding world of PlantX and chat with everyone from entrepreneurs and chefs to nutritionists and scientists. Whether you follow a strict plant-based diet or just want to learn more, you're invited. I welcome our host, the man who combined his love of e-commerce and the plant-based lifestyle to create PlantX, Sean Dollinger. Twentieth podcast at uh, Plantex. I can't believe it's been twenty episodes. I just was told that right before the show, and that's even with taking a couple weeks off in between. That me- means we've been doing this for about five months. So, again, thank you very much for tuning in, joining us. Thank you very much to all of our shareholders, investors, customers who are extremely interested in Plantex and who join us each week to learn a little bit more about what we're up to. And because it's been such a long time since we've done one of our podcasts, uh, again, we're your one-stop shop for everything plant-based. We set out to be the leader in the plant-based space. Plantex is literally your one-stop shop from groceries to meal delivery to plants. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we came up with the idea to make it a lifestyle change. And that's essentially what we're building out here at Plantex. And I just want to take a second and thank everybody. We just closed on a $20 million plus raise today. That puts us at over $35 million raised since just August, about six months ago. And again, we wouldn't be at the stage we're at with who you're going to meet today, Ann Thornton, one of the number one celebrity chefs in the plant-based space in the U.S., doesn't get bigger, and she recognized Plantex as a leader in Canada as well as globally, and she's decided to join us. And the reset that launched this week is phenomenal. We've already started selling them on the website, and we haven't done anything like that before. And it just shows you the power of our platform, how we could essentially create a concept, team up with the leaders out there in the plant-based world, and bring good to wherever we choose around the world. So again, we're extremely thankful to all of you who joined the show tonight, who contributed to the raise, who shares the word of Plantex. Again, we now have over 5,000 shareholders. You know, I originally approached the team and said, if we just have 10,000 shareholders by the end of 2021, that would be remarkable. And already here, just in March, to already have over 5,000 shareholders in what I believe is the most exciting space that currently exists in the world, giving good back to people, letting them live a better and healthier life on the planet. So with that, I'd love to introduce you to our guest tonight, Ann Thornton. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here and to be working with PlanX. (laughs) It's wonderful. You know, we've gotten to speak a few times now, and uh, I love what you're doing and this whole Uh, reset that you've created. But before we jump into that, we love to ask our guests on the show, how do you take your coffee? I take my coffee with a little bit of coconut milk. And I absolutely love it. And I don't like any other milk (laughs) except for coconut milk in my in my dark roast coffee. And I like my coffee strong. Amazing, because I think you're the first guest in 20 episodes that actually takes it with coconut milk. You know, everybody's shifting to oat milk, almond milk, all these different things. So coconut milk, at least for me, is a new one. So awesome. I love it because you get all the benefits of the coconut oil, you know, like those bulletproof coffees, but you get the creaminess of the milk. So it's like a one-two punch for me. <laughs> I, I normally take my... Um, my coffee is decaf like Americano, but I'm going to try it with coconut milk tomorrow just in honor of you. So thank you <laughs> for putting that up. And, uh, you know, a lot of the viewers up in Canada might have not heard your name. You know, sometimes people's names come across to me and I'm like, I don't know, like who, th- who they might be or anything. And then I do Google search and I'm like, wow, this is an incredible partnership and to introduce the Canadian market. So I guess for the for the Canadian viewers, as well as the American viewers who might have not known about this reset or anything of that nature, what, what turned you on to the whole plant-based space? 
honestly, I got interested in plant-based food. I was working for Apple Computer doing um, marketing for the education division. And I took <clears throat> a raw food cooking class in Fort Bragg, like for a weekend. because so I was curious about the health benefits and Apple is such a progressive company and being in Silicon Valley. And, you know, at the time Steve Jobs was running the company and he was vegan. So there was a, there was an understanding of plant-based starting to be a little blossoming of plant-based foods for me. And I've always loved to cook. And when I decided to leave Apple and to go to culinary school, I was learning traditional cooking in French style, you know, monte a beurre, finish with the butter, add more salt, you know, confit of everything. And it was delicious and I loved it. And I love that I have those skill sets and that history and that technique. But I also actually, um, down the street from my culinary school was this amazing restaurant called Pure Food and Wine. It was a raw food restaurant started by Matthew Kinney, who's an incredible American chef who became plant-based. We have similar trajectory. And I started working um, in his restaurant, cooking all these, cooking, <laughs> creating all these raw food dishes. And that was eye-opening. And I didn't stay the path of being a vegan chef at that point. I went on to be part of the team that opened the Waverly Inn in New York City to incredible success. I was actually the pastry chef there. And, um, and we did another space called Hotel Grifu or as executive pastry chef there as well. And, you know, have this show on Food Network doing pastries and not plant-based at all, <laughs> um, at all at all. And feeling a little morally culpable about it too, because of what I was putting out into the planet. And um, a few years ago, I guess it was like six years ago, I came to LA. I'd been living in New York City and my friend Moby, who I'd known in LA, was, I'd been a vegan for a bunch of years. He asked me if I'd be interested in opening a vegan restaurant because I was eating predominantly plant-based and um, cooking a lot of plant-based food. And so we did a place called Little Pine in LA and it was very successful and such a fun project creatively and just a really beautiful group of people and community and I thought it was so cool because we'd have a line out the door on Sundays because we had these wild croissants that people went nuts for. And most of our guests weren't vegan. Most of our guests were just interested in eating pl more plant-based foods. And this was like this incredible opportunity to show people that vegan isn't boring and beige and just like porridges <laughs> the way that it used to be framed, that it can be this abundant, beautiful, delicious lifestyle. So that was the incredible opportunity of Little Pine. And I have done more. I went on to become the executive chef for um, Noya House Brands and doing all these big events with all these giant companies and brands and all these things. And I found that the things that people actually ate the most were our vegan offerings as opposed to everything else. So when the pandemic hit and I was furloughed, I decided that I was going to double down completely in my plant-based ways and um, you know, for a while now, I've been working predominantly with plant-based brands, but I now am fully plant-based myself. And it was a long transition, but a beautiful one and one I'm grateful for. So that's how I've arrived here. <laughs> that's an awesome story and congratulations on all the success. And again, thank you very much for believing in Plantex uh, because obviously you're a, you're a veteran in the space and uh, to believe in a newcomer uh, means a lot over here. And um you know, I don't know if you know this about us, but we follow a lot of the approach that you just touched on, where we're very welcoming. Somebody just wants to try that croissant on a Sunday morning for plant-based living. That's what we're about. Come give us a try. Come give the whole plant-based lifestyle a try. And that's what we've seen why Beyond Meat is such a success. It's not re-educating the person on what a hamburger should taste like. It's a unique flavor that gets that, you know? So... Yeah, no, it makes a lot of sense. And then this whole reset, I know in LA, you sell out like legitimately every week, people are chomping at the bit to get it. All of a sudden, everybody in Canada has the ability to start ordering it, which we've already, like I said, or got a bunch of orders even before this vodcast this evening. Maybe you want to speak a little bit about how you came up with this idea of a reset and what it really has meant over the last little bit. Well, I'm so excited that people are going to get to try it in Canada. I love Canada. I have to say that. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, right on Lake Erie and spent so much time in the Georgian Bay and just have love Quebec and the food. And you guys have just 
I mean, Toronto's made, you have such great cities, Vancouver. It's just, you know, Vancouver's like another LA. <laughs> we always laugh, like our friend, all my neighbors are either in LA or Vancouver or New York, it feels like, and you know, it's wild. But um, I decided to do this reset because I had been working with this company for a while and I was furloughed in July. They kept me on for a while, but LA kept shutting down and it wasn't getting better and it wasn't getting better. And I had been trying to convince the brand to go completely plant-based because I thought this would be such a revolutionary thing to do um, coming out of COVID. Like let's put our money where our mouth is and show that we care about the environment. And really, even though we had become a sustainable company in that um, in our food practices, zero plastic, and you know, getting rid of all the excess food waste and everything else, and recycling. But I decided that I really wanted, like I said, to commit fully to plant-based food. And I had so many friends who were seeing on my Instagram that I was eating plant-based during quarantine, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, well, I'd be plant-based if you cooked for me," you know. <laughs> And I'm like, well, you know, my partner's totally plant-based now. They're like, of course he is. You make all the food, like, of course. So, and I'm, I was talking to my friend, Alyssa Goodman, who's a brilliant nutritionist and who's a plant forward nutritionist. And she does a soup cleanse in Los Angeles that's also wildly successful. And we were talking about the psychology behind per people making a lifestyle change and this whole like vegan journey that they can go on and how they can start incorporating more things. And she was saying how five days seems to be, it can change somebody's opinion consecutive five days. You're more likely to stick to that than if you go for an entire week or 10 days. Five days, most people can commit to. We all went to school Monday through Friday. <laughs> We're used to sure. doing things, you know, there's some structure usually on Monday through Friday for a lot of us work-wise. So I've created this with some of her guidance of like, what are the macros that we need to hit? And what are the nutrients that everybody needs to get um, in order to feel full as well while doing this plant reset? So it's a low cal lower in calorie thermogenic plan. So it's designed to increase your metabolism while giving you all this abundant food and showing people just how delicious and filling plant-based food can be and making that lifestyle change like I joke that it's like a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. <laughs> like this food is the sugar, even though it's not, it's sugar free and so healthy for you, but it's really the thing that gets people to fall in love with plant-based eating. And, you know, it's been wild seeing customers who've, who've now started to incorporate more. And I have a lot of repeat customers and just seeing the results they're having from weight loss to actually, I, um, she would love us actually one of the producers of a television show i used to be on actually she was executive producer of two of the large like daytime shows queen latifah and nate Perkis, this talk shows and she's one of my regular clients and she's just gotten so she's always been a very healthy person but this has helped her autoimmune disorder go into um remission and she's been eating this way and it's just because it's a gluten-free plant-based you know no added sugars healthy oils and it's just been wild to see plus like lots of people just feeling a lot more energy and a number of actors being on set claiming that they have less brain fog and were able to remember their lines and all this other stuff. So it's been really cool to hear people's experiences on it. I get, and just even the awakening that's starting to happen around like, oh, I could really, I could really eat this way. Like this isn't painful. This isn't a sacrifice. It's actually really delicious and abundant. You know, it's been, it's been really a cool process. Yeah, no, I, I could just imagine watching people go through this vegan journey, um, you know, that you're introducing to almost like you're a vegan teacher out there, educating people on what plant based living and introducing them. And, you know, during one of these shows, it's not normal like to have access to someone like yourself where people could come on and ask live questions. So during a podcast, that's why we do it live is for our shareholders, investors, customers to come on, ask questions and all of that, and to kind of reward or to thank them for their participation, we love to do a giveaway. And this week, we'd love to give away one of your resets uh, to somebody who was extremely supportive during the, the previous raise and all along the way he's participated and has been such a strong supporter as Fred Lee. Um, thank you very much, Fred, for coming in and uh, this week uh, for all the feedback you've given, all the support you've given. We'd love to give you one of Anne's uh, resets. So make sure to email us and we'll get that out to you this week. So, um, you know, on that end, uh, one, one question that comes to my mind genuinely 
you, you could partner with any company in Canada around the world to do this reset. And, you know, luckily enough at Plantex, uh, you chose us to partner with in Canada. You know, maybe you could share with the shareholders, investors, as well as our customers, you know, what was unique about our team? What made you want to go ahead and do this with Plantex? I love what you're doing. I think, honestly, I have been looking for you guys <laughs> in the US for years now. And I love that you're a trusted space for people to go to find delicious, healthy, clean products that are plant-based. I mean, what a gift, like it's an incredible concept. And I just really, I believe so much in your mission of helping people to make this lifestyle change or starting to adapt more plant-based habits and food into their life, as opposed to like the full commitment into a plant-based life somewhere in the middle. I love that you sell plants. That was like so cool to me too. I think like plants are the new pet. <laughs> and I think that's just such a beautiful holistic and there isn't anybody else out there who's offering this full like life, plant-based lifestyle um, site for people. I love also your team has been incredible to work with. I have to say, I do a lot of consulting. I do a lot of different branding, work with different brands. And this has just been a dream to work with. Everybody's really smart, knows what they're doing, is efficient and is kind. So it's just been and gracious. So it's been a really lovely experience. And I know from working with a lot of companies, the people who have that kind of, that corporate, you guys don't feel super corporate, but in that corporate environment, it seems to be like that is like the fertile soil for just incredible growth. When you have good people who are incredibly capable and also kind and gracious, <laughs> it's a good combination, a good recipe. <laughs> good recipe. I like that. Well, thanks for the, the kind words. And, um, yeah. you know, again, like the whole thing about vegan education, you know, that's really what is really true to us and having people like yourself partner with us is quite important because it actually makes vegan like easy right at the end of the day if it's hard to make that transition into plant-based or vegan you know vegan made easy you know essentially at the end of the day uh this allows it to be a really great introduction so i think it's wonderful what you've created and fits really aligned with our values here at plantex been wonderful it's such a great it's such a great um coming together i feel like it's um it's exciting to see i'm really excited to see what everything that you guys do in this next year as well it's just incredible this growth and all these i'm just so excited for it i just here for all of it it's been you know it's been wonderful to even work with you guys in this small way but i'm excited to see where else you guys go from here yeah, no thanks Anne. and you know sometimes people partner and don't really put in that effort but from your side it's just been constant working with our team and everything so again from our shareholders investors we thank you very much for the effort you put in and that it's not just hey yeah you guys could list it in canada you're really going in working with drew from up meals who's been on the show and all of that to really make sure the quality of product going out is up to your standard which is quite high so you know, thank you very much for that. And uh, typically at this point, we open up the floor to our shareholders, investors, customers to send in questions in right away, you know, like, and we actually had a few come in prior to the show, knowing that you were going to be on uh, again, for anybody watching right now, please give us thumbs up, recommend this um, channel, subscribe to the channel. All of those things are really important so that we could get the word of Plantex out there. At the end of the day, we want people to come, be interested in what we're building. I truly believe we are building the most exciting company in the plant-based world because we get to partner with all these wonderful people like Anne that you have here tonight. This is unheard of in the Canadian um, food space or anything of that nature. And our platform allows for all of this to happen. So, and one of our um, viewers wrote in earlier um, asking us to ask you, What's the biggest transition you've seen over a five day period of somebody trying one of these resets? I have to say one of our neighbors actually did the reset and she had been, she's in her mid sixties and had been stuck at a certain weight for a while. And in five days, she was able to drop like 
think she dropped like seven pounds, which is not, it's just, it's very significant. She had a lot of inflammation before and now she's a regular reset client and she's been, I think she's down almost 30 pounds from the beginning of this. And she's also like much more mobile because her arthritis isn't acting up. It's just been seeing this transformation in her has been so cool. Like it's been a wonderful thing to witness. And yesterday she wrote me just a beautiful email. I get these beautiful emails from people all the time. I think they sound almost fake. Like they're such like endorsements, but just it's true. Like eating a healthy diet and seeing it really does make you feel better from the inside out and I think that people are really appreciative of it and it's been really cool to see people change their behaviors you know and really and enjoy it you know everybody's like this is painless and I think that's the other thing it's an enjoyable process as opposed to something you know hard or sacrificial <laughs> Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's great to hear. And hopefully we have some great stories to share with you over the next few weeks. So we'll see what happens, but that's great. And then uh, we actually had someone write in live here. Uh, vegan is the right way one it is the username. And they asked, I've heard to stay away from eating too much soy, like avoid meat replacements in excess. Is this something you agree with? I personally don't eat a, a ton of soy, um, but I look at it kind of like how a regular meat eater would look at red meat, for example. Like I incorporate it a couple of times a week into my diet. It's a great source of protein. People always are afraid that it's too, it has too many hormones and it has this estrogen, like bioidentical estrogen. But the reality is meat and dairy are in eggs and all those things are just full of hormones, <laughs> so much more than the soy, so much more than the soy. So I, I, I think it's one of those things that people get stuck with, but I've actually found incredible, I'm sorry, these are coming through here. Um, I'm sorry about that. I thought that was muted, but um, I love pumpkin tofu. I've found lentil tempehs. There's a lot of soy-based, similar soy-based products that you can replace with non-soy, but I still, I still eat soy, organic soy, but I like to eat almost everything organic, so. But I think it's wonderful in a lot of ways. I make an incredible tofu-based ranch dressing that I refuse to ever give up. <laughs> so I'll always have soy in my life in some way because of that. And I love tempeh, yeah. I love tempeh as well. And it's interesting you brought up pumpkin and somebody who once taught me, actually someone from above uh, food, uh, his name is Donato. Uh, he said, if you hear something three times in a week from three different sources, you should look more into it. And you brought up pumpkin. And I just heard a couple times this week, uh, some movements into a pumpkin seed milk. So I got to kind of look into that, you know, it's uh, a, a big movement right now. It supposedly has tons of benefits. So that's what's so exciting about being plant X, X stands for collaboration and all these new ideas pour in. And, you know, and thank you very much for taking the time this evening to join us, taking time out of your evening to um, share everything that you've built over the years and why you've decided to partner with plant X and uh, from all the shareholders and investors. I, I thank you as the founder of this company for believing in us and attaching your name to plant X and look forward to an incredible journey with you to educate, teach, and hopefully have some remarkable stories to share with you over the next little bit. Thank you so much. I'm really honored to be part of the PlantX extended family. <laughs> no, thanks, Anne, and look forward to meeting you in person when the world permits. Likewise. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. So um, there you have it, guys. Uh, again, another incredible partnership that we're just so thankful for. Here. And again, closing on over $20 million today. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. If it wasn't for you guys believing in the journey, believing in the story, Plant X would not be where it's at today. And with the revenue growth that we see, with all the partnerships, with all the acquisitions that we have to present to you guys over the next year and into the future, I think you will be extremely happy and proud to be a shareholder and investor in Plantex. Please keep sharing stories like you've seen here tonight. Again, you guys power the growth of the story as well. You don't just need to be investors or shareholders. Go ahead, give it a try. Give this reset a try. I know I'm going to. Um, you know, next week, I'm definitely ordering one, or this week, we still have plenty of time. You could order till Friday at midnight and get it delivered on Monday or Tuesday next week. And then go ahead and please share your feedback because. We could only get to the next level with your support. 
The reason why Plantex is where it is today is because you've went ahead, shared the story with your friends, family, and everyone out there. So again, from the whole Plantex family, thanks again for believing. Thanks again for staying so interested in everything we do. Till next time, stay curious, stay planted, stay healthy. Cheers.